Okay, so uh, welcome uli sa Axel Engineering. Ang uh, topic natin ngayon ay uh, how to estimate welding electrodes on steel works. So, ang example natin ngayon ay uh, yung steel process na ginamit natin in our uh, previous video. Okay, so before I continue, please subscribe, share, and like. Okay, so ang ating gagamitin pa rin ngayon ay yung ginamit natin ng gaan, yung Cotras na ginagamit sa residential, commercial, at sa mga So ang ating components pa rin ito, same, one and a half, two and a half ang yung bar. So dito ang ating objective is to determine the amount of electrode. So ang gagawin natin ngayon is uh, pipiliin ka ng at least dalawang joints. Uh, yung joint with maximum members and joint with minimum members ang purpose natin is to get the average 12 uh, length okay kasi gagamitin natin yun sa ating computation so ito yung ating example yan so yan uh, ginagamitin natin yung last video so ang joints niya na consider natin ito so joint 1 and joint 2 so it uh, I draw this to scale for me to easily get the weld length by scale. No need to compute, just use the scale of 1 is 2.5. I end up having this. I end up having these measurements already. So, if you want, if you have a project like this, you can draw this to scale using uh, this kind of uh, cassette plate 15 by 20 or 20 by 20 kind of configuration okay so selected these joints okay so now uh, let us continue knowing this our purpose is to uh, get the wealth length so based on this drawing meron na tayong wealth length okay wealth length is already uh, presented here because it is drawn to scale okay so before we continue, let us go now first to the computation of the fillet weld. Okay. This is the fillet weld. So every time you weld uh, angles on the gasset plate, it's uh, considered as fillet weld. Okay. So before I continue my uh, computation, which is just very simple, first we have to know the density. So the density of the steel is 78.50 kg per cubic meter. So the formula, we need the formula of uh, the triangle. Area is 1 half base times height. So this is just uh, basic mathematics. And the volume is area of this times the length. We will consider 1 meter length in our computation. And also important factors here are the one point or reinforcement factor. This is for fillet weld. So, pot weld, group weld, other welds have their own reinforcement factor. So, here we will use 1.2. So, these are the important factors for uh, considering the computation and the 55% efficiency for covered electrode. So, since we are using stick welding, uh, we will use 55%. Where, where do I get these values? These are standard values. Okay? So, just remember this. Okay? Now, let us go to the volume. Um, the volume ng uh, well, the volume of well is area of this triangle times the length. So, 6 mm is 0 0.006 meter. Check nyo lang sa calculator. 0 0.006 times 0 0.006 times 0 0.5 times 1 meter times 1.2 is equals to 0 0.0040 to 16 cubic meter. That is the volume of the well. Well, the event is volume formula here. Area is 1 half base times height. 1 half ng base times height. Okay? Times length. Times 1.2 reinforcement factor. Okay? Now, for the weight, equals now to volume times the density divided by 55% efficiency of the 
give us 0.08 kilogram per meter, meaning that for 6 mm width or the base of the welding or the fillet weld, we have 0 0.308 kilogram per meter. If we have another value here, so it would be different. So, tinuro ko lang sa inyo is how to compute using this principle, okay? If you have 8 mm, then you say mm, you will have a different answer. But basically, 6 mm for fillet weld for steel process are the common, is the common measurement for the base length. Because this is the 1 fourth inch thick weld. Okay, so this is also standard. But uh, ito na lang ang gamitin nyo. Every time that you are working with process, use this value. Okay, so knowing this, we will now go to the weld lengths. Okay, based on this joint, joint 1 and joint 2, we can now compute. So try to uh, first do a screenshot for you to study later on. Okay, now let us proceed to the weld. Okay, length. So for joint 1, the length based on the drawing is 5 plus 4 plus 5 equals 14 centimeters times 3. Why times 3? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So equals 42 cm. So, so length number 2 is 20 plus 20. What is it? 20 plus 20. Here, 20 plus 20. By the way, these yeah, orange lines are the weld length, okay? So 20 plus 20, that will give us 40. So the total now will be 82. So since we are considering this as a double angle, we are considering the stress as double angle for permanent essential use, okay? So we will use double angle, double angle for the top and bottom and for the vertical. And diagonal structures. Okay? So, yan. We multiply by 2. The answer is 164. Now, let us go to join 2. Join 2. We compute the red leg. 22 times 2. What's 44? 22. Here is 22. Plus another 22. Okay, would give us 44. So, Second length, the length number 2 is 17 plus 4 plus 17. So it was 38. So just check on your calculators. The total is 82. So it so happened, this is coincidence only, it so happened that joint 1 and joint 2 have the same weld length. So going to the average, we can now conclude that we will use 164 cm as the average. So in meter, that is 1.64. So you will just simply multiply 164 by 0.308, the one we have derived here, 0.308 kilogram, the weight per meter length, multiply by 164 and give us 0.5 kilogram. Meaning that for every joint here, we could say we will consume 0.5 kilograms for every joint. Having 12 joints, we can now conclude, or we can just multiply 0.5 by 12 joints, would give us 6 kilograms, meaning to complete this entire one set, you need 6 kilograms. Okay, so you can do the screenshot now. Okay, so I hope you learn new things from our construct. So, ito lang. So, make a screenshot of this. Ito lang ang derivation na napaka-simple. Actually, if you have a project, you don't need to do this every time. Because we have a table. Okay, I, I just showed you how to do or to derive this. But actually, if you need 8mm, you can do it. Uh, you can uh, select it at once. You will use the covered electrode here on the first column while steel. If you are using stainless steel, then 
use this column, okay? So you can do the screenshot now. And you can make research on this. By the way, this is Kobelco uh, computation. Okay? So I hope mga construct uh in other column for yung uh bago. Pakirin na lang. Uh, Let's go.